Greetings fellow Earthlings, AGK here with a brand new IC2 modding tutorial. Today we're going to look into decompiling the IC2 source code. So, first of all, if any moderator, developer, or any of those kind of people of IC2 wants this removed, um, just let me know and I'll do so. Not sure your stance on decomplying the IC2 source code. But, here we go. First you're going to want to download, download IC2, obviously. This is the release version, or you can go on to the experimental. I'd recommend working on the experimental as that is kind of the newer, the more most updated as you can see this was updated four hours ago versus the one month eight days for this one. So I'd recommend just downloading the experimental, download the D, I'm not going to try that one again, but D, you know that one, the dev version. We'll save that, put that onto our desktop, this is the file we just downloaded close this out. And now we need a program called JDGUI. There are multiple programs of the same kind. It's all part of a JD project. Um, but I'm just going to use the GUI as it's kind of a standalone, easy to use program. There's also plugins for Eclipse and Intel LiJ. I don't know how you pronounce that one, but yeah. You can use those, but I personally like having my source code on one side in its own kind of window and my the code I'm working on in its own kind of window. Actually, I have two, two computers or two monitors, so I just put one on one monitor and one on the other. Works perfectly. So we are going to want to download the JD GUI. It is pretty updated, even though the screenshot is kind of old, but it is pretty updated. Um, you can use the Windows snapshot, but I'd re recommend doing the release for your version. I'll just download the Mac. Open that up and it'll run an installer I believe there we go so this is the program you want it'll just simply drag and drop that into your applications I already have one in there so I'm just going to replace or if you're Windows it's just basic program installing I'm just going to check that I don't need it anymore so now we can get ready with using the program so Open up the program, it looks pretty blank. You're going to want to press this little open button. You can also alt optionally do file, open file. They both do the same thing. Now we're going to download the program we just, or open the program, the, the dev jar we just downloaded. Open that, and here you go. It's all the IC2 source code. It's organized under um, assets and textures. That's kind of self explanatory, the textures. A library that the newer versions of IC2 are is requiring, and then all the core IC2. This is where the API, the buildcraft integration, the I'm not sure what CG is, the core. This is where all the files are: block, oh, machine, tile entity, macerator. Here's the macerator. It's pretty simple. This is how you can get to all the IC2 source code recommend looking through the stuff that you want to use if you're trying to make a super industrial TNT I'd look at this extend block TNT look at the stuff you need to override that kind of stuff um, that's pretty much it if you want to get to the textures of IC2 all you're gonna want to do is unarchive that file we downloaded unzip it 7-zip whatever it is and you'll get the folder open that and you'll get the assets and in here you can get all your textures I want to get one for, oh, dynamite. Here we go. This is the dynamite texture. You can edit that, do whatever you need. Um, yeah, a block of UU matter. Huh, didn't know that thing existed. It's cool. So that's just about it. Thanks for watching.